And when we encounter Him, we want, we receive Him as Lord and Savior sa buhay natin. Sabihin mo, ako yun. Then, pakapakat mo naman ako si Lord. Yes. You need to have the beautiful, in order for us to know the beautiful plan, we need to have a personal encounter with the beautiful planner. And that is the Lord. Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. Jeremiah 29, 11. Masanay natin sa kasabay. Ito yung sinabi ng Diyos kay Jeremiah when they were at the brink of the exile. Ang sabi niya, Ready, go! For I know the plans I have for you. Declares the Lord. Who says this? Everybody say, The Lord. Ready, go. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and what? Nakasabi ba? And what? Yes. May magandang plano ng Diyos sa buhay mo. Ngunit bago ma-realize yan, dapat ay lakara natin ang plano niya. We need to walk with the plan and we should know the beautiful planner. Amen! Hindi pwedeng ang napakalag ng plano ng Diyos na yan ay nasa kaliwa at ay lumangatod sa kanan. You will miss it. So two things. Kilalanin mo ang planner and at the same time lakarin, lakaran mo ang plan. Amen! Ba't may palpak? Ba't gumapalpak minsan itong plano na ito? Aha! Because number one, hindi natin nilalakara ang beautiful man. Number two, hindi natin kilala ang nagpa-plan. Kaya tonight, kilalangin natin ang nagpa-plano at lakara natin ang napakagandang plano. Everybody shout, Amen. Amen. Yes, this is beautiful. Encountering with God was very important to know God. In Genesis chapter 12, Abraham, the friend of God, encountered his God. Joseph encountered God in all the crises of his life. Moses personally encountered his God in the burning bush during the theophany. Joshua the commander of God's army in Joshua chapter 5. Peter encountered his God personally at the Sea of Galilee. Now Paul encountered his God on the way to Damascus. Apostle Paul was considered to be unstoppable after this encounter. He was so unstoppable in his devotion, in his service and worship to God. The Pharisees and the Sadducees cannot stop him. Situations, circumstances cannot stop him. Poverty cannot stop him. Difficulty has the power to stop him. Crisis cannot stop him. Loneliness cannot stop him. The great Roman Empire cannot stop him. Why? Because of 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 2. Tingnan natin. Ano ito? Why Paul is unstoppable? 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 2. Basahin natin ang mga kasabi-sabay. Kasi para sa atin ito. Ready? Go. That's why I'm suffering as a man. Yes, I'm not ashamed because I know who I have believed in. I'm, I'm convinced that He is able to guard what I have entrusted to Him for that day. Why Apostle Paul is unstoppable? Difficulty cannot stop him. Crisis cannot stop him. Loneliness cannot stop him. The great Roman Empire cannot stop him. Why? Because he knows who he has been. 
tiba-tiba anaknya mati lagunya kum sino angkanya pinapaniwalaan ang malin ng kanyang pagkahangang sa kanyang Panginoon para pakatulang ng siya Hallelujah When did he do Christ? Kailan nila kinana ang kanyang Panginoon? And because of that, he was so convinced that this God is able to guard everything that he has to trust into him beginning that day. He trusts his God because he knows his God. Again, we need to go up at the end. He trusted his God because he knew his God. Kung hindi mo kilala ang Diyos mo, napakahirap mag-trust sa Kanya. Kaya nang sabi niya po siya po, Yes, I'm suffering as I am. My life is not really comfortable. My life is not really good. Situations are not really good. Crisis, right, right, left and right. Kahit saan ako mamunta, there was always the difficulties. At sabi niya, I'm not ashamed. Sabihin mo sa mga tayo, I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed. Not ashamed. I'm not ashamed of my suffering. Diba? Lots of people are ashamed of the suffering. Kaya pag tinanong mo, how are you? Nobody will tell you, I'm bad. He said, how are you today? Ano sabi na rin? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm okay. Really? <laughs> Are you really fine? Are you really okay? Are you really okay? Yeah. What we can what we can say? Like the Nabi said, "I'm not fine today because sometimes we are so ashamed of our suffering." But Paul is not ashamed because he's suffering the Lord. He's suffering for the Lord. He's not ashamed of that. If you if you if you ask Paul, Paul, how are you? So he said, "Well, I'm not good." I'm not good, but I'm blessed. Amen. Amen. Well, I'm not healing well today, but I would like to tell you, I'm still blessed. Amen. Amen. That's a name of the Lord. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. We need to be blessed all the time, even if we don't feel good all the time. Why? Because we know Jesus. Amen. So, the name of the Lord, I know Jesus. I know Jesus. I'm persuaded. All right. I also want to trust God because He did reveal this God. Amen. 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 Uh, kaya nyo siya. Kalit-liit na problema. Pag-ihil na katakot-takot na halal. Nagsat ni Mel. Hindi mo kilala. Si Lord mo. Hindi mo kilala. Diyos mo. Huwag na ano siya kapake. Oh, mati ng problema ko. Hindi. Mas mati ang Diyos mo. Patakot ang Lord. Amen. Amen. Oh, Amen. I eat him, lots of Christians. Because they call themselves a believer, but they really don't believe this is wrong. Why it's difficult for them to believe? Because they don't know their God. I you should know your God. This line sets the time that Apostle Paul encountered Jesus at 2 a.m. His life has never been the same again. If you truly encounter Jesus in your life, I would like to tell you, your life will never be the same again. Amen. Amen. Ang parang palpak na buhay, kasi hindi natin inagap yung number 11 commandments. Ano yun? What is the number 11 commandments? Thou shalt not complain. Ano yung mga mag-bensa natin? Ha? Pinananak ako sa Christian family. Ha? Kamay pa kami, sa simbahan na kami. Ha? Mag-bensa na. Masig kung kabalo ka lang na may Diyos, pero hindi mo kilala ang ibu Diyos. Kaya, tagad yan. Sabihin mo sa katabi mo, papalpat ka. 
Papal pak. Sungguhin, jadi Yes. Just because you were born in a Christian family, is that automatically qualify you that you know your God? No way. Kaya na dapat, ano yun? My personal encounter sa Panginoon. Yung mga anak mo, may wala pa masyadong devotion sa Panginoon, then, tanungin mo. Para masigurado. Amen! Tanungin mo. Sigurado ko ba, nakaka-encounter ko sa Panginoon. O, oh, yung mga seminary yan. Okay? Kahit kasulog na kayo ng seminary, luluko-luko pa rin kayo. Tatanungin ko kayo. Sigurado ko ba? <laughs> Na-encounter mo si Lord sa buhay mo. Kasi hindi ko po ito. Dapat ano? Thou shalt not. <laughs> Kung yan sa ato tayo, we thought everything is okay. Hindi, kaya nga may discipleship. Hindi ko na 